because Trump was poking the bear really, really hard. I mean, people always view the Palestinian issue from obviously a naturally Western lens when we look at it because we think about occupation and the way that it's like humiliating and people are dying and they're sovereignty and all that. But if you, but if you look at Palestinian discourse, especially from people like Timur and Hamas, the most important thing that they really, 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 really harp on about is not things that you would normally consider. Normally consider. It's like, it's like the mosque of Al-Qaeda, Jerusalem. Like Jerusalem. Timur spoke all the time. And when he's talking about, even around the Great March of Return, but also in the recent attacks, he is constantly harping on aggression towards Al-Aqsa. And what they mean by that is Trump moving the embassy to Jerusalem. It means Trump offering, quote, the deal of the century that puts the entire old city in Israeli hands. He is very, very conscious of that. And that is like the centerpiece of his rhetoric. He cares a lot more about that than he does about checkpoints or economic inequalities or water access. Yeah, Al-Aqsa is like the number one and Trump rubs up the wrong way. In about three different... Uh, uh, areas, areas by, by doing that. Doing that. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah, I remember, I remember um, I was when I was chatting with uh, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Tibi, the, 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 the long-serving long uh, urban canister uh, 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 in Israel. He brought that up too. It's like, well, that's a non-negotiable. Like, well, that's a non-negotiable. 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 Well, that's a non-negotable. Well, that's a non-negotiable. Well, that's a non-negotable. 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 It sounds like it's something like taking away from things that they desire, desire, but like nationalism and all these things are much more emotional. Yeah, emotional. Yeah, emotional. Yeah, emotional. Automatic writing suggestions are great, yeah, but sometimes you just but want to tell them. Yeah, like you said, you know, the writing text the works the same way. way. I, I write some text and, and type a prompt describing how you want to change it. Tone, style, language. Download Grammarly for free and see for yourself. And always the kind of uncrossable red lines around narrative issues. Everything else people were willing to talk about, but, 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 but yeah, yeah, the, 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 the narrative issues, it was just like brick walls. Yeah. Um, I, I think for Simbar, the, the other interesting contribution that he has tried to make for Hamas is this kind of joke about access of resistance forces conscripting child soldiers. Very obvious with that, Yemen and the Houthis, they do that shamelessly. As well, a little bit. With the Al Qaeda brigades, you can look through the Al Qaeda brigades over the decades. There aren't that many people under 18 who are listed on the
He actually even once endorsed, he actually even once endorsed the prisoner's charter from Marwan Barkuzi back in 2005, 2006. 2006. So, so if he takes over, if he, he will takes over, he will probably be a bit different from Sinwar, but enough to call off the war from Hamas's end, I don't think that's what you have to say. All right. Any other minor stories for us? It's not really a minor story. Really a but minor story, but I don't know if you've heard about what happened in the north of Gaza with the attack on Jabalia. I am not at all. So you might have seen Kamala Harris about four or five days ago talking about how she was going to consider restricting military aid to military aid to Israel, cutting the budget. The reason she did that, the reason she did that was because there was kind of rumor going around in the early in the early days of October this month that actually Israel was actually actively blocking aid from getting into the north of Gaza. Usually when people talk about blocking aid, when you see these little reports, they're usually talking about some aid trucks some aid trucks are getting arbitrarily seized and then seized and then sent to the back of a queue because they had because they had dual use items. But for this particular this particular situation situation like nothing seemed like nothing one shipment one shipment in the first of October the next two weeks the next two weeks nothing was going in then rumors started then rumors started to spread about this major general someone called Jora Ayla who apparently had this plan who apparently had this plan to proper do a full on siege full on siege not even with any aid onto the north part of Gaza to basically put basically put pressure on the remaining militants who had regrouped up there and then just to be clear for people listening at home things like sieges where you're sieging towns or cities or people where there are people where there are civilians present that's not allowed that's not allowed you can't do that even though there's always violence in international law you can never be cutting off civilians from receiving food and medical supplies you're not obligated to keep enemies supplied with food and medical supplies you can't cut off civilians you're not like sieges are not like things anymore that you're allowed to do yep you can't do it you can't do it and also even if this happens which this did happen even if you do make a call for people to leave south civilians and even if which also happened to the Ministry of Interior warned everyone in the north not that it was a lie that it was a lie that there's nowhere else to say stay where you are well that happens as well you're still supposed to allow aid in and what seems to be emerging from a few at least from a few reserve soldiers who have spoken to the press is that the general's plan was actually being implemented but wasn't being authorized by the general staff or central command it seems like some part of the idea in the north was operating unilaterally and actually carrying out this thing and as soon as that came out it was around October 15th or the 14th or the 14th very quickly started announcing and showing videos of 30 trucks 30 trucks 50 trucks the next day going into the north through different buildings so whatever happened there and I think the program website is still showing this it doesn't seem to be the case that between the 1st of the 14th and at least the 14th nothing was going into the north nothing was going into the north and I think that is probably, the strongest, that is probably the strongest case so far of a part of the idea, a part of the idea actually, actually using like a siege, like a siege strategy with strategy with food being full on, no. like full on. No. Well, not good. Well, um, not good. Um, I guess I'm assuming. I guess I'm assuming Israel's announcement is going to be the best. Make you hear about it. Do for that guy. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty grave. That's a pretty grave. I think as far as I think as far as violations of international law of international law that I've seen so far from the idea, so far from the idea, where there are lots of them where information, there are bits of information that could sort of make sense of this. Make sense. This one I think is probably this one I think is probably the worst example so far. There's no evidence yet. There's no evidence that it's been approved by the government or the general staff or the general staff. I don't think there's enough investigation, investigation yet, but it looks like that's what they're going to be one to look out for in terms of who actually faces who actually faces the consequences for that, because that's a pretty big one. Okay. Well, anything we should keep an eye out for in the next U.S. election? The U.S. election is coming up. I mean, if we're in the Middle East, I guess, if we're keeping up the trend, maybe Netanyahu will get arrested or kicked out of office. And at that point, the only remaining leader will be Abbas. The one true leader will be Abbas. Okay. Well, that's it. Thank you for listening. 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 Thank you I think that he's playing the survivor game. No, 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 I see. Arrest war. No, recommend. He's playing the long game. 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 He's playing the long too much for me to do alone, and that's where you come in. I'll show you how to recover these funds for them. You'll get paid handsomely for your help. Because because Trump was poking the bear really really hard. I mean, people people always view.